Wow, winner by split decision, bro. <laughs> what's good? What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. On my post right fight review for Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. Um, wow. Uh, so I first and foremost, I think nobody, I don't think anybody expected this to to pan out this way. Um, you know, Tyson Fury wins via split decision or whatnot. But let's go ahead and, and break it down. So. First and foremost, I got to give a major shout out to Francis and N- Ganu, um, cause because I didn't, I, he he came out, you know, normally when you see a, a UFC or an MMA fighter come to boxing, they don't really have their stances correctly, they don't really know how to throw a, a correct punch, but his jab was snapping. He had a very very good jab, and the thing a thing about it is, man. Um, I was really, I was really amazed with just how relaxed and how calm he was. He wasn't jittery, over jitter, over trying to like overcommit on anything. He was throwing his punches and in, in a correct way. And he, um, you know, obviously he's in the heavyweight division, so it's it's things that he would have to work on, or it's things that he would have to, um, you know, they, like you know, fundamentally, wise, fundam- fundamental wise, like he, it's things that you know they could always improve on for any heavyweight. But bro, he he did really good, staying poised. And relax, uh, picking his shots or whatnot, countering um, when, when, when Tyson Fury would try to come in. I, I was really, really, really impressed with Francis Ngannou, bro. I really was, man. Um, and, and see, the thing about it, what, 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 what it is, is you know, Tyson Fury came out looking very sloppy. Um, and I almost when when he came out, I'm like, bro, how how did this guy beat Ty- how did this guy beat Deontay Wilder, bro? Like he just came out, just you know, you could tell. Like uh, obviously Francis might have been a little bit awkward, but you could just it just looked like Tyson Fury didn't even really just prepare. Obviously, you know his body never looks like he prepares for a fight, but it looked like he really didn't just uh, prepare himself for this type of. Um, you know for this fight or whatnot but uh he came out you know throwing a jab he tyson fury was touching francis and gano with, with the jab i felt like if francis and gano knew how to, to adapt and, and knew how to, to uh, make adjustments for tyson fury's jab uh francis would have won this fight he would have won this fight but Tyson Fury was popping him with the jab. Um, the third round, Francis, I, I want to say he threw, I don't know, was it a hook? Uh, but he caught caught Tyson Fury um, and dropped Tyson Fury or whatnot. And, and that was just, I was just thoroughly shocked, man, because it's like, bro, you know, Tyson Fury... Um, you know, uh, the freak of nature, you know, I, I was expecting Tyson Fury. Well, Tyson Fury did say he was going to come towards Francis Ngannou uh, all night. But the thing about it was the, the thing that we know Tyson Fury for, 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 which is like moving around. Tyson Fury has very great movement. Um, and Ngannou kind of took that away from him by not chasing him. And that was a good thing. He kind of made Tyson Fury come to him, which also kind of threw Tyson Fury off or whatever. But the thing about it, uh, something else that, that that messed Tyson Fury up is where Tyson Fury is so used to having a weight advantage. Where Tyson Fury, was he like, what, 280 pounds coming into the ring or whatnot? Um, going in there against a Deontay Wilder who who normally weighs about 200 and uh Deontay Wilder you know the first the first and second fight weighed like 220 215 something like that bro outweighing Wilder by 50 60 pounds or whatnot you know he's used to get his 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 weight weighing his opponents down I know in the in the third fight um in the third fight, Wilder came in weighing 240 pounds or whatnot, or about 235 or something like that. But Fury still outweighed him by about 40 pounds. But the muscle that Wilder had kind of, um, it, it, it kind of came back to bite Wilder in the butt because Wilder ended up getting tired with fatigue. Whereas Francis Ngannou, he was a, a big man, so Fury couldn't really use his weight his weight didn't really play a role on 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 uh, Francis Ngannou, and Francis Ngannou was able to keep up with Tyson Fury or whatnot, and um, and, and make it a, a very difficult fight, bro. I felt like during the sixth and seventh round, I thought Francis Ngannou was uh, was slowing down or whatever, but um, but it looked like but it looked like he was able to catch a second win in the eighth, ninth, um, in the tenth round. Nothing written, nothing much happened. Uh, the the, the Punch output. I think Tyson Fury might have outlanded Francis and Gano by like seven punches or whatnot. Um, but man, regardless, bro, this was a very entertaining fight, man. I want to give a shout out to both fighters. I want to definitely give a shout out to Francis and Gano, bro, because his stock just rose. And I would actually love to see Francis in there with Deontay Wilder. I think that makes for a very fan friendly fight. Um, 
As far as Tyson Fury goes, we all know that he had a, a date lined up with Alexander Usyk for December 23rd. See, that's why you can't take these fights, man. He, he took this fight thinking that he was going to easily brush past Francis Ngannou and then go straight to uh, Alexander Usyk, whereas Francis Ngannou had different plans. Now, Tyson Fury did have like a mi minor cut on the forehead, which is not going to come into play. That's not going to uh, affect anything. Um, but he, he had a black eye too, a swollen eye or whatnot. So it doesn't look like Tyson Fury will be fighting December 23rd. Um, poor Alexander Usyk, because it's funny because Alexander Usyk actually made a, made a post saying Francis don't do too much because I want, I want this fight December 23rd. So it looks like they might put, may push it back. I say probably February of 2024. Um, but I, they asked, it was funny because they asked Tyson Fury in the post fight conference. They asked him, uh, would this type of performance be able to get a victory over um, Alexander Usyk? And <laughs> the answer to that question, Tyson Fury said, yeah, because um, Usyk is a smaller fighter. Francis is a, is a much bigger fighter and a more difficult fighter. But no, nah, buddy, I'm sorry. That type of performance will not get you a victory over Alexander Usyk. That fight is not going to be a fan friendly fight. Uh, it's going to be a very technical, strategic fight, but um, I don't see, I, and, and though I agree, I don't see Usyk, uh, I don't see him stopping Tyson Fury, but um, I can see him outpointing Tyson Fury, man, especially with the type of performance that we just seen from Tyson Fury. Now, granted, you can make the excuse to say that Tyson Fury didn't train 100% for, uh, for, for Francis Ngannou, and I would actually believe that based off of this performance, but still at the same time, bro, listen, that's your fault, not not anybody else's. You should have trained harder. <laughs> and um, but regardless, I mean, listen, I guess you know we gotta keep the ball rolling. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel like uh, Francis and Ganu uh, should have won that fight. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I was watching it just as a fan. I, I didn't, you know, I have to go back and just, um, I wasn't watching it as a judge because I didn't take even take this fight serious enough. Uh, it just got intriguing and everything, you know, as the rounds, you know, grew more, the longer Francis uh, was in the fight, the more kind of intrigued I got with it. So I, I'm not gonna sit here and say that Francis was robbed or Tyson should have won. I, I gotta go back and watch it to tell you that. But what, what I can say, is Francis boxing ability and his IQ is better than I want to say virtually anybody gave him credit for. Um, he 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 started to fight I want to say as a um, uh, what plus fourteen hundred un, under underdog or whatnot, and then he ended the fight as like a, a minus two seventy five uh, favorite to win the fight you know what i'm saying so that just goes to show you the type of the the type of um fight that francis and Gano got and i will say this out of everybody that i've seen um cross over to boxing from the ufc i've never seen anybody with the type of skill or or, or the um the iq that i saw from francis and Gano. all right so I, I i have to give francis all credit for that now do I think that Francis uh, should should convert to boxing? I mean, maybe, possibly. I mean, he, you saw what, we saw what he just did to Tyson Fury. So I'm sure he would have success in the boxing world. I have no matter of fact, I have no doubt in my mind that he could beat a lot of these boxers or whatnot that's out there. All right, but um, I would I would love to see him. I would love to see him. Uh, if he does trans, you know, transition to boxing, I would love to see him just focus 100% on boxing rather than boxing and MMA. Uh, as you guys can see right here in the, in the picture, uh, Mike Tyson was training uh, Francis Ngannou. And, and even when I, what I was looking at at Francis Ngannou, what I was looking at him hitting the pads and stuff in the uh, in the uh, um, in the, uh, the the punching bag, I was the, I was saying to myself like, bro, he actually looks like a boxer. He can throw a punch like a boxer, and not just like a you know a lot of MMA guys or UFC guys don't know how to correctly throw a punch. So they arm punch or they slap with their punches, but Francis actually looks like he knew knew what he was doing. So I was kind of impressed by that. Um, looking, you know, look at he was looking real good. So I, I can't, I can't wait to see what's next for Francis. I mean, I, I definitely think that he's just opened the door to a different uh, world 
um, of comeback sports. You know, I think he should. I would love to see him stick with boxing for for a bit. But like I said, he would have to. I would like to see him do it at 100 percent, not just uh, don't don't do both. Because, you know, in, in order to box just like the UFC, it takes 100 percent full commitment. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think won the fight? Do you think Francis Ngannou won the fight? Do you think Tyson Fury won the fight? Like, Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What would you like to see from both fighters? But what do I know?